guys and welcome to video blog 2 on the 26th of April in 2015. I'm shooting this week at Jazz Cars, that's J-A-Z-Z-C-A-R-S, which is a very cool place in Wilmington, North Carolina, where I live now. And uh, it's an antique shop and a place where you can get interior design items for everything from couches to sort of uh, art pieces. You can see a couple hanging behind me. Uh, but also in the back here we have a classroom and I'll be able to teach pretty much any topic I want in the back. So um, if you're interested and in the Wilmington area you can get a little group together. I can teach you anything from knitting to crocheting to craft to um, taking care of your vintage textiles and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to insert a little clip here of the store and it's at 2144 Wrightsville Avenue in Wilmington, North Carolina. And if you're in the area or passing through on your way to beach, come check us out because it's pretty cool. Here we're going to take just a quick little trip around Jazz Cars, which is my home for teaching in Wilmington, North Carolina. This is going to be my little corner where I shoot my vlog this week. And we have all kinds, let's see if I can do this slowly and not make you all nauseous from going too fast. All of that wood on the wall, Terry Jazzcar, who owns this place, he uh, that's all reclaimed barn wood that he stained and then put on the walls. And all those cool linens in the back, of course those are mine. And behind that is the classroom where I can teach, so if you want classes in just about anything and you can get a group together here in scenic Wilmington, uh, give us a call and you can um, reserve time and we can teach right back there in the class. Sorry for the bumps. I'm actually hoping he doesn't sell that couch because it's very comfortable. And then here we are back at the front. So now that you've seen how cool it is, let me just remind you it changes all the time because there's always something new here and there's always something going and something coming. So come check us out. Um, the other thing, let's talk about what I was up to this week. So I got home from Denver and last week we talked about the Yarn Fest in Loveland, Colorado, which was all kinds of awesome. So here's what I've been working on this week. First off, in the world of general crafts, I had a little pom-pom moment. I have been working with the Clover pom-pom maker, which is pretty cool. And I'm teaching a class on this at a show in September in Minneapolis. And I will give you more information on that when it's available, but in a minute. <laughs> they kind of cracked me up. So here's my little owl friend. And then I have my penguin. Then I have my chicken. <laughs> so I kind of lost my mind and I've been making pom-poms all weekend. So, um, But that class will be coming up and I'll give you information on that when I have it. And then, hmm, what else have I been working on? Oh, I'm working on the knitting book that's coming out next year. I still can't tell you what it's about, but I can give you an extreme close-up of this week's knitting. This yarn is uh, Comfort Chunky by Barocco, and I'm doing a lace pattern with decreases, uh, so it, it's, it comes out sort of columnar, which I'm pretty excited about, and it's not quite as pink in real life as it looks like on this video. And then the other thing that I need to share with you this week is the sad, sad story of my vacuum cleaner exploding. Um, so when I was in Dallas a couple weeks ago, um, those of you who know me know I don't buy a lot of yarn out in the world because I'm cheap <laughs> and I like to work with, you know, I'll do a lot of project leftovers and, you know, but sometimes, sometimes the yarn just calls to you. So there's this company um, that I met in Dallas Fort Worth at the Fiber Festival and they're called Must Stash, M-U-S-T-S-T-A-S-H. I'll put a link here on the video. Um, I did link to them from my Twitter but um, they didn't have any merchandise on their uh, website at the time because it was all with us in Dallas. So um, look at this sock. Look at this sock. So I made this sock with the yarn. So you can see it's a very, very serious color pattern and it goes in a very specific order. Um, so I was all excited and I, I uh, made this basically on the plane on the way home, but I hadn't started the second sock because I have all this work to do. I gotta get the knitting book finished. Blah, too much going on. So I had this much yarn you left, which I thought would be plenty to um, uh, roll off the color pattern so that I could make socks that are identical twins rather than fraternal twins. So what happened? I was vacuuming, which how often does that happen? Not very often. And this ball of yarn rolled off the chair onto the floor 
got sucked into the vacuum cleaner which sucked about 10 yards off the ball. And while I'm frantically trying to unplug the vacuum cleaner or turn it off or cut the yarn and make it stop, smoke and flames started coming out of the bottom of the vacuum cleaner. So of course my friends are all like, oh my gosh, you know, you're always complaining about your budget. Now you have to buy a vacuum cleaner. That's not my biggest problem. My biggest problem now is my socks may not be identical twins. They might be fraternal twins. Um, so my plan is this. I have a plan. I always have a plan. Uh, my plan is to roll down to the next uh, color change so I can start so that I have the gray on the top and I will knit and knit and knit and knit and knit and I will hopefully come out even but if I don't, if I have to change the color, I figure if I do it down here, um, I'm not a person that wears sandals and socks, particularly wool socks. I'm more likely to um, have shoes on when I wear these. So I figure I can at least make the top identical twins and if I have to change color down here to make it work out, well, that's the way it goes. So the best laid plans of yarn people are often um, led astray by a vacuum cleaner. I don't know where I was headed with that. but um, So that's what's going on here. I'll catch you guys next week. Um, just one little brief ad. You can get all of my webinars that I've taught. I've taught a lot this year for F&W. You can get them as downloads. It's not quite as much fun as interacting live, but um, you can get downloads and, and get the information. Um, so give me a clicky here and uh, go check those out if you're interested. Also, I'm still teaching the Tunisian Crochet Masterclass at Craft University online. Now, it started last Thursday, but because you work at your own pace, you're really not missing a thing if you join this week. So it's not a class in which, oh my God, the start date happened and now I've blown it. Uh, because people work at their own pace, there's a lot of people haven't even started the material yet. So if you're still interested, in the Tunisian Crochet Masterclass, um, I'd highly recommend you check that out. It's $39.99, you have access to my Warped Brain for five weeks, and we're making a blanket together, but you can just practice stitches. There's video information, there's PDFs, there's still photos, there's a discussion forum. It's actually really cool, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. And um, if you're interested in more about the project, there's a video here on YouTube uh, that says, it's called Tunisian Masterclass Overview. We'll show you all the techniques you're gonna learn in the class. So. That's what's going on here. I'm happy to be back at the beach. Little Loopy is finishing her freshman year as we speak, and uh, I'll catch you guys all next week. But if you're in Wilmington, please come by Jazz Cars, check it out. I'm usually here on Mondays and Wednesdays, but hit me up with a message, let me know you're coming. I'll meet you over here and we can play yarn in the back. Okay, bye guys.